Hey there, it's Dr. Kamisa. Welcome back to our video series. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. Today's topic is a very important topic on bone density, osteopenia, osteoporosis. I've got lots to share, so stay tuned. All right, so today I'm going to be on the board here, and this is what I explain to patients. So when someone comes in with osteoporosis, osteopenia, I'm going to, I like to break it down into very simple terms. So let's take a look at this. They really are looking for a strong you. That's what you want is to be a strong you, right? And now here's how I like to break it down. So you have our bodies are an integral part with many moving parts. So they come in, first of all, with bone mineral density issues. So with bone mineral density issues, you can't just take that piece of the pie out and work on that. You ha it's, the whole body works together. So we have to look at other factors like balance, okay? Fall prevention. I'll just put FP here for fall prevention. We have exercise here. We have food or uh, diet, however you want to break that down. We have your overall health, right? And then some of these other factors, um, for example, let's put in here your muscles. I know they're part of the exercise here. And then the last, the last one here, I like to call this spinal stability. So these are the pieces of the pie that we want to work on because if we want a strong you and we want to increase bone mineral density, these are the different factors. So let's break this down a little bit, shall we? So I'm going to clean the board here. And now we're going to take a look at, we're going to put a smiley face there. Put your arms, pelvis. So that's us from the front. Obviously, we should be nice and square. From the side view, not the same. Uh, so we have the neck curve, mid-back curve, low-back curve, pelvis. Right, and so it should be lined up like this. So when we talk about spinal stability and balance, this is what we're talking about. Because don't forget, we're trying to increase bone mineral density. How do we do that? We have to put load through the bone tissue, meaning that we have to stress that bone. And so when we look at this, when we take a look at the structure with x-rays, we want to find out, is there any issue with the lumbar spine that we have a red flag on? Is there any problem with any part of the spine that we have to be aware of? Or do we get a check mark saying that you are good to go? I don't know that. That's why we have to do our, our, uh, our, our structural assessment, our 3D assessment, right? So when we look at this, um, now let's take a look, for example, I'm going to clean the board again. So let's say if this is, this is normal again, right? We got the pelvis. So that's our vertical alignment. But what about if someone comes in and they're like this? Maybe a straight face because their spine is kind of like this over here like this. Right? So, vertical axis line is here like this. So, do we want to put a lot of load through this structure? No, we want to get this structure to be better balanced. We need to straighten this structure out. The more we can straighten it out, the more load we can put through it. I hope that makes some sense. So one of the things we talked about was balance, spinal stability and balance. Balance is huge. So we have balance here as an issue, right? And fall prevention, 
right? This is absolutely huge because as we age, Every time we fall, we don't bounce the same way that we used to bounce. We don't bounce anymore, period, right? So we need to work on this. And so balance is part of the brain, the cervical spine, whether we do, when we do our balance testing, we're testing vestibular system, proprioception, or overall balance. We have ways to improve that. We use different devices on the brain. We do nonlinear complex motion movements to help stabilize your balance. We can do that initially sitting down. Then we can do that standing up. We can even do that on the power plate, right? So balance is really one of the factors that we want to work on because most of the people that come in with, with some kind of bone mineral density, what's osteoporosis, osteopenia, right? They think they're doing everything they can. Well, they think they're doing everything they can in their world. I'm trying to get them to open their mind up to say, okay, how do we treat you, you as an overall? Uh, how do we get a stronger you um, so that your bones, everything is better, not just a portion of it, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna explain the equipment to you. So here we go. So I'm gonna clean the board again. We use four different types of equipment, actually five different types of equipment. Right, so the first piece of equipment we use, our power plate. This is my 20th year of using power plate. And we've been doing um, the protocols that we developed here in this office for bone mineral density. We've been doing that since 2009. Um, for power plate, I've been using them since 2004. We're one of the largest medical facilities in the world to have these. You'll see our, uh, some of the other pictures on our floor. So power plate's a huge product. Two, we use biodensity. An isometric, maximum loading, bone stimulating piece of equipment, right? These two go together. We want a stronger, more stable spine. Three, we use Posture Rack. Posture Rack is my patent that goes on the power plate. Posture Rack helps develop the lumbar spine for stability and, and increase that strength by training you how to actually use your lumbar spine cor correctly, properly, by doing a squat. It's the only machine in the world that does this. I have, a pat I have two patents on this. Three, or the fourth thing we use, EMTT. There's some other video clips I'll put in the link below. This is uh, electromagnetic transduction therapy from Storz Medical out of Switzerland. This helps stimulate osteoblastic activity, right? It also helps with disc issues. The more load you're putting through the bone, you want to stabilize that structure the best you can we have two of these machines that run all day, every day. And one of the last one we do is we do motion guidance. And motion guidance is for our balance. So you see that most people want to come in and they want to just, well, I just want to get stronger bones. Really? If the body doesn't work, you have to work on all of this to have a strong body, a strong you. Because that's what you're looking for is a strong you. So I hope this makes some sense. Because every time we go through this, I'm 34 years in practice next month. And, you know, this is new technology. This took me years to develop. Uh, we've been doing this for 15 years with uh, biodensity. And so our protocols continue to change. And over that course of time, we have put tens of thousands of people through this program, tens of thousands. And, you know, it's just, it's a very exciting program because people are, they come in with this label on their forehead that someone told them they have osteoporosis or osteopenia. So they feel defeated because they're working so hard on all the other factors of their life, but they're, they're, they're missing. I'm trying to open up their eyes 
to another avenue of how do we get a strong you? Well, this is how you do it right here, folks. A strong you is a combination of all these tools. We have the latest technology. We're a very high tech office and I would put our clinic against any clinic in the country for what we do. And once again, what are we trying to do? Empower people to live their best day every day. That's why we keep investing in this. We keep investing in you. And um, so hope this makes some sense. So until next time, have a very blessed day.